स्केलर प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू वेक्टर स्केलर प्रोडक्ट प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू वेक्टर्स क्लियर सपोज दैट ए वेक्टर ए एंड सेकेंड वन वेक्टर बी ए वेक्टर ए एंड सेकेंड वेक्टर इज बी एंगल बिटवीन दीज टू दैट इज थीटा ओके दैट इज थीटा सो वॉट अबाउट स्केलर प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू वेक्टर्स दैट इज फॉर्मुला इज ए डॉट बी ए डॉट बी इज रिटर्न एज ए मॉड ए मॉड बी इन टू कॉस थीटा इज द फॉर्मूला ओके क्लियर आर नॉट मीन्स इफ दिस वन इज ए एंड दैट वन इज बी ओके एंगल बिटवीन ए एंड बी दैट इज थीटा सो ए डॉट बी इज रिटर्न एज मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ ए एंड मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ बी एंड एंगल बिटवीन दीज टू कॉस थीटा ओके कोसाइन ऑफ थीटा क्लियर नाउ सेकेंड वन If anyone want, what about B cross A? What about B cross A? This one is written as what about angle? That is two pi minus theta. So if you written B dot A means mod B mod A, and this one is cos two pi minus theta. Clear or not? I know that mod B minus sorry mod b dot a it is written as mod b and mod a this one is a magnitude basically if this one is 2 here 3 2 into 3 that is 6 or 3 into 2 6 it means these value are written a cross b, uh, mod a into mod b or mod b into mod a both are same thing that's why it is written as mod a here mod b cos 2 pi minus theta that is in fourth coordinate whatever cos is positive so that is cos theta so basically from equation number 1 and from equation number 2 you can see he <coughs> see that if you compare both then b dot a it is also written as a dot b clear or not b dot a this be equal to always a dot b clear or not first of all make it after that make it first of all now today i have the a dot b is written as mod a mod b into cos theta clear now if you focus on that one this one is here i x axis that is represented by i here j axis and this one is k axis clear or not that is i and that is j and that one is k that one is k clear or not that one is k here i here j here k are you can say that i have already here x coordinate here y coordinate then here z coordinate means here x axis here y axis perpendicular to each other and that one is z axis okay in vector form this one represent i axis this one represent j axis and this one is present k axis clear or not clear now next one after that what about angle between angle between i and j that is 90 degree and j to k also 90 degree perpendicular to each other and k to i r j to k that is also 90 degree clear so next target is what about i cross i or i cross j and j cross a if anyone ask what about i1 i cross i written here sorry i dot i i dot i means what about angle between if this one is i a vector like represent like this one i <coughs> i cap 
and second vector also i cap both are in same direction okay so angle between these two theta is equal to 0 degree so and what about magnitude this is i cap so magnitude of i cap is 1 so it is written as i cap mod j cap mod sorry i cap mod into cos 0 degree after that that value is 1 1 1 1 so finally we got 1 i dot i is 1 similarly what about j dot j it is also 1 because of if you redraw now check here if that, that one is j and that one is also j both are in same direction so what about magnitude unit vector j that is 1 clear so 1 into 1 angle between these two that is 0 so cos 0 so finally we got 1 clear or not first of all make it and similarly if anyone ask what about k cross k sorry k dot k it is also 1 why magnitude of k that is 1 ok angle between if that is 1 is k cap and that is also k cap so angle between these two that is 0 so you can say that k cross k it is written as 1 into 1 into cos 0 it is 1 so that is also 1 means clear clear or not so you can say that so finally you can say that i cross sorry i dot i or j dot j or k dot k that is 1 clear or not if anyone ask corresponding what about a dot a vector a dot a ok this one is written as mod a into mod a angle between if suppose that that is vector a so second also vector a so angle between these two 0 so cos 0 it means a dot a it is written as mod a to the whole square clear if two vector are same if two same vector dot uh, scalar product of same vector that is a square or you can say that vector square vector magnitude square okay this one is the magnitude of vector a okay now second one so our next target is what about i cross j and j cross k and k cross i whatever okay here i here j and here k all here 90 degree and that one is also 90 degree and that one also 90 degree clear i j k if anyone ask what about i cross sorry i dot j what about i cross j what about i cross sorry i dot j i dot j means mod i mod j into cos 90 degree that value is 1 and that is 1 and what about cos 90 cos 90 is 0 so you can say that that is 0 similarly j cross i j cross k sorry j dot j dot k this one is j and that one is k so angle between these two one at 90 degree so mod j mod k into cos 90 so that one is also 0 after that what about k dot i it is written as into 
into cos 90. So k dot i is equal to 0. Clear or not? So you can say that another word i dot j this be equal to j dot k this be equal to k dot i this be equal to 0. Okay. So that one and that one make box. Clear or not? Why i dot j or j dot k or k dot i this be equal to 0? Because of these two are perpendicular. That's two are all are perpendicular. That's why angle between these two, these two, these two are 90 degree. That's why cos 90 corresponding to that formula you put here. Then we got cos 90 is 0. That's why we got 0. Clear? Now, first of all make it. After that, Suppose that vector A is written as A1 i cap, A2 j cap, A3 k cap and B is written as B1 i cap, B2 j cap and B3 k cap. Clear or not? If anyone asks what about A dot B, A dot B, so it is written as Corresponding that one first of all, I1, A2, J, A3, K, dot, B1, I cap, B2, J cap, B3, K cap. Okay. Now, after that, multiplication of this one to this one, A1, B1, I dot, I plus a1 b a1 b2 i dot j a1 b3 plus a1 b3 i dot k clear or not after that plus second one multiply by this one a2 b1 a2 b1 j dot i plus a2 b2 j dot j plus a2 b3 j dot k clear or not clear or not i know that and last one a3 a3 b1 k dot i plus a3 b2 j dot k and a3 b3 k dot k clear or not i know that i have already discussed i dot i this be equal to j dot j and this be equal to k dot k this be equal to 0 and i dot j and j dot k or k dot i this be equal to sorry that one is 1 and that one is 0 ok so put here i dot i that is 1 so that one is written as a1 b1 plus that value is 1 i dot j that is 0 and i dot k i dot k or k dot i that is 0 similarly j dot i 0 j dot j 1 j dot k 0 k dot i 0 j dot k 0 and that is 1 so that was a1 b1 after that, that is A2 B2 plus A3 B3. Clear or not? Very simple. Clear? So you can say that 
a dot b is written as a1 b1 plus a2 b2 plus a3 b3 simple multiply is simply a dot b is written as a1 b1 plus a2 b2 plus a3 b3 clear or not so this one is written like this but that one okay after that first of all make it okay now now next one what about mod a mod a is written as under root of a1 square plus a2 square plus a3 square similarly mod b it is written as b1 square plus b2 square plus b3 square clear or not i have already discussed if a dot b is given angle between a and b a dot b is theta then that one is written as mod a mod b into cos theta so what about cos theta cos theta is written as mod a sorry vector a vector b divided by mod a into mod b clear or not so similarly what about theta here a1 b1 is a1 b1 plus a2 b2 plus a3 b3 divided by mod a a1 square plus a2 square plus a3 square again what about mod b it is under root written as mod a b1 square mod b2 square and mod b3 square clear or not so first of all make it clear now we have consider question what about angle between these two so basically our motor determine theta okay if you determine theta then we got if you determine cos theta then we got theta clear or not basically our motor determine theta okay angle between these two so how can we determine if you determine cos theta then we got theta clear or not so basically we focus on that formula how can apply what about mod a mod a is written as under root of 2 square plus 5 square plus minus 6 to the whole square that one is written as under root of 4 plus 4 plus 25 plus 36 okay clear or not 6 that is 15 under root of 3 plus 2 5 plus 1 that is 65 that is under root of 65 now next one what about mod b it is written as 1 square plus 5 by 2 to the whole square plus minus 3 to the whole square so finally we got 1 plus 25 divided by 4 plus 9 so we got 10 plus 4 that one is written as 10 10 into 4 that is 40 10 into 4 40 40 plus 25 65 65 by 4 clear or not now next target is what about a dot b a dot b is written as a1 b1 2 is to 1 that is 2 5 into 5 by 2 that is 25 by 2 plus 6 into 3 that is 18 okay 
so that one is written as 18 plus 2 we got 20 20 plus 25 by 2 means 12.5 that is 20 plus 12.5 that one is written or you can say that that is better to write better to write 20 20 into 2 40 40 plus 25 that is 65 by 2 that one is written 65 by 2 clear or not our target that for cos theta put here this one is 65 by 2 divided by mod a 60 under root 65 and that one is already 65 by 4 if you that is 2 so we got 1 so cos theta is 1 so what about theta theta is 0 degree clear or not make it so finally we got theta is angle between means vector a and vector b both are parallel a and b are parallel Make it.